You guys love my last taste test video, so this time we're gonna be trying vegan sauces, dips, and dressings. Having a good sauce on hand can really make it easy to throw together a quick meal throughout the week, or it can kind of zhuzh up something that's just a little bit blah. So knowing which ones are good and worth the money, I think is worthy of a whole video. So that's what we're doing here today. Stay tuned until the end so you can find out which ones are the winners. Thank you to Thrive Market for teaming up with me, and let's get taste testing. First up, I've got this carrot ketchup. It is by Noble Made by The New Primal, and it has very, very simple ingredients. I definitely smell the carrots. I smell carrots and apple cider vinegar. <laughs> I'm gonna have this on a chicken nugget, a vegan chicken nugget, of course. I'm not getting ketchup at all. Like if I were just tasting this and you didn't call it carrot ketchup, I would think I was just eating carrot puree. It tastes like carrots with a little bit of vinegar, and salt, which is pretty much what it is. I think I was expecting it to taste like ketchup that had some carrots in it. Like, you know how carrots are sweet? I thought maybe they were gonna add some natural sweetness to ketchup by adding carrots, but that is not what's happening here. This is fully just carrots. If you're expecting ketchup, you're not gonna like it, but does that mean it's bad? It's okay. I don't know if I would rebuy it again though. Okay, next I'm gonna try the Dea Blue Cheese Plant-Based Dressing. I got this because I love making my, what I call my carnivore approved buffalo cauliflower wings. I usually serve the wings with ranch just because I love my vegan ranch recipe, but I've never had them with vegan blue cheese, but I feel like this would be a fun way to kind of change it up. So I'm gonna try it on a cucumber. Again, it keeps wanting to focus on my face. There we go. It's really thick. Maybe I should try it on a nugget. It's better on a nugget. It definitely tastes like blue cheese. Like I'm getting that kind of tang, that quintessential blue cheese flavor is definitely coming through. I almost wish it was a little bit stronger and more pronounced because like equally as pronounced is that kind of old school Dea cheese flavor. I feel like they've reformulated a lot of their cheeses, especially like the farmhouse cheddar block, I think is so good. But you remember that kind of old, old Dea formula flavor that was like a little bit powdery and just very specific. Like you could pick it out in a lineup. That is definitely happening here. So it's nice and creamy though. It's got a little bit of tang. It's got a richness. It definitely has blue cheese flavor. And I think if you were to put this on wings with hot sauce, I think it would be pretty good. I definitely liked it better on the vegan chicken than I did on the cucumber. So I think this is definitely gonna be more of a dip for me as a salad dressing. It's almost like the freshness of the cucumber brought out the day of flavor more. And with the chicken, it tasted more like blue cheese. So I think it depends on what you put it on. So it's definitely not bad. It's not exact, but it's not bad. Okay, so excuse the wet hair. I just got out of the shower, but my friend Taylor's coming over and we're gonna have dinner, but she has quite a few food allergies. And one of the main ones is, well, onions and garlic. And I'm sure as you guys know, a lot of sauces and dips and dressings have onions and garlic as kind of the main base flavor. So I found this brand on Thrive Market. It's called Foddy Foods. I think it's cause it's like low FODMAP. It's a onion and garlic free salsa because one of the foods that she can have is tortilla chips. She loves tortilla chips. So I figured we could try this salsa with the tortilla chips. And we're basically, our dinner tonight is going to be kind of snacky. And it's really just a list of all the things that she said she could have. So I have asparagus. We're going to do potatoes. We're going to do tortilla chips and, and that salsa. And we've got strawberries. It's just going to be like a snacky dinner, which should be really fun. But I got this barbecue sauce and I think this I mean, maybe for the potatoes, I don't know. I just thought it'd be fun to try. So we'll taste test this as well. And this also is a barbecue sauce that's made without onions and garlic. It's totally vegan. So I'm excited to try this as well. Okay, so we just spent the last couple hours talking because I haven't seen Taylor in such a long time, but the salsa and the barbecue sauce was good. We had the salsa first and I have to say, at first I didn't even notice that the onions and garlic were missing, which kind of surprised me because to me, onions and garlic are so flavorful and I really thought the salsa was gonna taste super different. I think it kind of tastes the same. It does taste the same. You think so too? Yeah, it does. 
kind of just tastes like a standard mild chunky salsa and I think that's kind of a good thing like if you didn't tell someone that the onions and garlic were missing I think they would just think it was like a typical salsa nothing to write home about not like oh my gosh you have to try this you have to drop everything and try this salsa because it's the best ever this one I would say is probably a bit more tomatoey like if I really had to describe it it's like tomatoey, you get a little jalapeno, you get a little bit of lime juice, and like it's well seasoned, but it just doesn't have the onions and garlic. So definitely a good option for those of you looking for a replacement for allergy purposes. But even if you don't, like if one person in your family can't have onions and garlic and you don't wanna have to buy different salsas for everyone, this would be one that I think a lot of people would like. Same thing with the barbecue sauce. Some barbecue sauces are really sweet and some are kind of smoky. This one is more on the vinegary, tangy side, I would say. But again, nothing like, oh my gosh, you have to try this tomorrow because it's gonna knock your socks off it's just a good staple so overall I was pretty impressed I was pretty surprised because I really thought the onions and garlic were gonna make a big difference but it's still pretty good you can find these sauces at a lot of different grocery stores, but I got them all on Thrive Market and I teamed up with Thrive Market to bring you this video to show you that you can find a lot of the same brands that you're finding at grocery stores and specialty markets at Thrive Market at a discounted price. You can see the discount right at the bottom of the screen. And as a member, I've seriously saved so much money from shopping on Thrive Market, buying the groceries I would ordinarily buy at the grocery store, except I save a trip to the grocery store and I save money. So it's definitely super convenient and I'm able to find cool sauces like this without having having to stand at the grocery store, looking at every single label, checking everything. I can just hit the vegan filter and basically everything that doesn't fit into your criteria just goes away. So it makes shopping super quick and easy. It's how I find what I'm looking for, but also helps me find new things that maybe I would have overlooked at the grocery store or not even realized it was vegan. A lot of times I kind of just stick to the same thing. I get the same thing over and over. But when I'm shopping on Thrive, I can literally see all the vegan options in front of me. And I feel like it just made me a more adventurous shopper, a more adventurous eater, and I'm saving money in the process. So click the link in the description box below that will get you 40% off your first order and a free gift worth up to $50. Okay, so for these next two sauces, I'm gonna try them on some tofu and then toss it in these two sauces. This one is a Korean style barbecue sauce and then this one is a fermented chili sauce. I think they're gonna be good together, but I'm gonna do like half and half. This is one of my favorite ways to make tofu, and once you learn this method, you can really use any sauce you like, so it's really versatile. I'll just pat some tofu dry. I'm using extra firm here, and then I'll cut it into cubes. The drier it is, the crispier it will get in the oven, so you can also do this in a tofu press. And then I'll go ahead and transfer the cubes to a bowl. I'll dredge them lightly in some cornstarch, which also helps to make the tofu nice and crispy. And then I add a little bit of salt for flavor. I'll often do soy sauce instead of the salt, but because I'm doing a taste test, for the sauces that I'm gonna put on top. I didn't want anything to interfere with the flavor. I'm gonna pop this in a 400 degree oven for about 20 minutes. It depends on how big you cut your tofu, but once it's nice and crispy, I just go ahead and add it to a pan with some cashews and charred scallions. I did about two thirds of the tofu with about two thirds of a packet of the Korean barbecue sauce from Kevin's. And as you can see, as soon as it hits the pan, it gets nice and thick. It really coated the tofu very nicely. It was glossy and it instantly smelled amazing. I served this with some fluffy white rice and some more scallions on top. I also went ahead and did a little sprinkle of some sesame seeds for crunch and this was ready to serve. Now I think, I've never done this again, like this is my first time doing it, so I'm not 100% sure, but I think one packet of the barbecue sauce is the perfect amount of sauce for one block of tofu because I did about two thirds of the sauce packet and two thirds of the tofu. For the other third of the tofu, I wanted to use this chili sauce. So I did the same thing with the toasted cashews and the charred scallions. I probably did about two tablespoons, like two generous tablespoons of the chili sauce, and I tossed that all together. And as you can see, it also coats the tofu really nicely, but it's a bit of a different consistency. It's a little bit lighter, not quite as thick, and not as glossy, but beautiful color. So first I'm going to try the Korean barbecue. It smells so good. kind of smells like a little bit like soy sauce. It's really tasty. Oh, the cashew is so good. It's not spicy at all, and it's sweet, but mostly kind of savory and salty in the way that soy sauce is savory and salty. I feel like sometimes with, like I'll do teriyaki tofu, and that's like a really sticky, sweet glaze for tofu. 
and this is more on the savory side. There's sweetness for balance, but it's all just really neutral and mild. There's not like one flavor that pops out. Next time I think I would saute the scallions in a little bit of sesame oil just to add another layer of flavor. Do some sriracha on top for kick, maybe some avocado with the rice. It's definitely mild enough that you could add some of your favorite components to a bowl like this and it would just, you know, be a really good sort of like layering sauce. So flavorful, tasty, super quick option. I love how convenient and quick it was. Okay, you guys, this one I'm a little bit scared about because I feel like it's gonna be really spicy. Coats the tofu super nicely. Mmm. This one I'm getting way more punch, like there's a lot more flavor going on. I would say it's not overly spicy. I was expecting to be like sweating just because it's like this fiery red color. So I was thinking it was gonna be super, super spicy. It's not, it's definitely like you get a little bit of peppery heat, but it's not like, oh my gosh, clear your sinuses, super hot kind of thing. It's really nice. I'm getting like chili pepper and garlic and it is like kind of soy saucy. It's ever so slightly sweet, but mostly it's a very, very savory, chili sauce. I think this would be delicious on vegetable dumplings or spring rolls as a dipping sauce. I bet you it would be phenomenal on greens like broccoli or sauteed asparagus and it said that you could marinate with it, said you could use it as a dip or you could use it as a sauce the way that I did. So really love how quick and easy that option is as well. I think these might be my favorite so far but we're going to keep tasting and we'll see. And next I'm going to try this Thai almond sauce and it says coconut, tamarind, and ginger. It says you can use it as a sauce for chicken satay, for spring rolls, for noodle dishes, for salad, or even toast. It's a nice thick consistency that's still pourable. So I love peanut sauce and I love how you get a kind of like salty kick that mixes with the lemongrass and the ginger and the lime and it's just such a good flavor with that little bit of heat in the background. And this is extremely similar, but it doesn't have that punch that peanut sauce has. It's a little bit more mild. If you like almond butter, you'll definitely like it because the almond, like that smooth kind of mellow almond flavor definitely comes through. It just doesn't have that like impact that peanut does. So I think peanut sauce is definitely still my favorite. I think there's a bit of a difference between a sauce and a dip. A sauce is just one component in a recipe where everything else is also contributing to the flavor. Whereas a dip, like the bar is really high because you really have to pack a lot of punch because it's really just relying on two things the dip and whatever you're dipping, you know? So it's kind of a different thing. I think as a sauce, I would prefer this. If you were gonna do like a big veggie bowl and you had a big rainbow salad with like lots of flavorful chopped up veggies, that would be so good. Like all those flavors would work super well. But as a dipping sauce, I think it needs a little bit more salt and kind of punchiness to really stand on its own. So I'll definitely be using this in noodle dishes and in salads with lots of other flavorful things like scallions and you know toasted almonds or toasted cashews or something. Um, but as a dip, not necessarily my go-to. The last thing I'm gonna be trying today is this Serrano condiment. It is a hot sauce that is made in Texas. I love this packaging because I feel like you can just drip on a tiny little, well, maybe not, it's a pretty big, <laughs> dropper, but it is a hot sauce that is made out of serrano peppers, cucumbers, onions, organic carrots, distilled vinegar, garlic, sugar, and lime juice. All of these sauces, one of the things I love is all of these sauces have very simple ingredients. Oh, it smells so good. Oh my gosh. If you like salsa verde and you've had salsa verde before, it does smell a bit similar, but it's like it, you can really smell the serrano peppers and they're really, really fragrant. See, I love this little top. I love this. This is very, very tasty. It's not too hot. I would say it's like medium spicy. I would say if there's a heat spectrum and medium is right square in the middle and like here's mild, it's like on the mild side of medium. There's definitely a bit of a kick, but it's not, it's not knock your socks off. It's super flavorful. I'm getting a lot of those roasted serrano peppers. I can taste the garlic. I can definitely taste the lime. The salt level is really nice. This is fantastic. This would be so good on tacos. This would be so good on nachos. I love this. Mmm. It's really good. Maybe it is spicier. Maybe it's spicier as you keep eating it. Is that a thing? And now for my favorite part, the winners and the items I will be repurchasing. First of all, this Serrano condiment. I thought it was so fresh and flavorful and just the perfect amount of spicy for me. I also really like this chili sauce and I can't wait to try it on spring rolls and dumplings. I think that's gonna be so good. Like I said, this isn't the most unique or special salsa I've ever had, but I'm really glad that something like this exists and that my friend and I could share it together. I've also really been enjoying using it in my tofu 
scramble, so I would repurchase. Finally, I'm definitely gonna be stocking up on this Korean barbecue sauce because as you saw, it makes throwing together a quick weeknight dinner super easy and it's the kind of meal that feels a lot fancier than it is. So I love having stuff like this on hand so I can just kind of throw something together when I don't have a lot of time. If you've tried any of the sauces that I tried in this video and you wanna leave reviews in the comments below, please do. I know that people will find that helpful, so definitely chime in. And if there's a sauce that I need to try in my next video, also let me know and I will add that to the list. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out the link to Try Thrive Market in the description box below, and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye, everyone.